students today we are going to see food habits of organism that how all the organisms are eating food what are their bodies requirement all these things we will see so as we know that any kind of organism either it is plant or it is animal or it is human being this all kind of organisms need food all kind of organisms need food and what they are doing with this food this food is combining with oxygen and giving energy to the organism and organism use this energy for various purpose for doing their work either for walking or for playing so this energy basically they are getting from food so what happen any kind of organism this organism need food any kind of organism need food and this food combined with oxygen and when this food is combining with oxygen this is giving energy and that organism is using this energy in doing work use this energy to do work now different organism is taking different kind of food and different kind of organism use different food for various purpose now one more thing they are doing with this food what they are doing from this food only we are getting other nutrition also which help in which help in growth and if there is any damage to their body so it also help in repairing so this this is the food only which helps in the growth as well as in the repairing of the body so to study all the organisms food habits what scientists have done scientists have divided all the organisms into different groups and how they have divided this into groups they have divided the organisms into groups on the basis of their food habits means what they are eating and how they are using the food how they are getting the food on this basis scientists have divided various organisms into different groups so first you note down then we will see what are the groups and how they are eating how they are getting their food now we will see what are producers first one organism producers this producers are basically plant as well as algae because you see around you the first thing from which any one any organism is getting food that is plant only means most of the animals most of the Mm, organisms depends on the plant for their food either directly or indirectly that's why this plants are called producer because they produce food food for the organism and they are the first one to produce food from plants only any organisms is getting food so first of all we will see this producer that how these plants are producing food what is the way how they are making how they are preparing their food so process known to us that is known as photosynthesis photosynthesis this is a process through which plants are making food plants are making food from the process of photosynthesis now photo means light and synthesis means to make means plants are making their food in the presence of light and this light is given by sun means this light is sunlight means plant are preparing their food in the presence of sunlight only during night they cannot produce food because there is no sunlight 
now let us see how they are preparing their food in the atmosphere there are so many gases among that one gas is known to us carbon dioxide among that one gas known to us that is carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide is combining with and when this carbon dioxide and water they both are combining they both are combining in the presence of sunlight they both are combining in the presence of sunlight and this sunlight is trapped by a green color substance which is present in the leaf you see any type of plant it is having green color leaves in that green color leaves a substance a green pigment is present that is known as chlorophyll means this sunlight is trapped in chlorophyll that green green color is absorbing this sunlight and helps in preparing the food from carbon dioxide and water now after the reaction after the preparation what they are getting in the food they are getting are you or a video oh no ho raha tha bhai and what they are getting as their food they are getting as their food sugar a kind of sugar and oxygen this sugar they are using to give to all parts of the plant so that they can use this sugar for preparing either fruit or vegetable and this oxygen is their waste product so what they are doing with this waste product they are releasing out this waste product and human beings and other organisms are taking inside this oxygen and breathing in and through their respiration process they are releasing this carbon dioxide means some organisms are giving out this carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide is used by plant in preparing the food and this plant is giving out oxygen and sugar this oxygen is again used by animal or human beings for their respiration in this like a circle is going on and this is also a cycle in which gases are balanced so first you note down then we will see what are the next organisms now next organism we will see that is herbivores means those animals or organism which eat only plant that is known as herbivores now this herbivores word is derived from a latin language in which her this her means plant and vores this means eat means those organisms which are eating plant are known as herbivores so it can be different types different kind of organisms like different plant so this herbivores are having their different likes and dislikes like panda panda is liking very much that bamboo shoot butterfly butterfly likes different kind of flowers so different uh, different kind of animal or species like different kind of things it depends on their nature we cannot define them so those animals those who are eating plant are known as herbivores it can be either small insect also it can be either big animals also for example cow giraffe goat um panda this all are eating green plant that's why they are known as herbivores examples also we will write
cacau, bor, elephant, beer. So these all are eating plant. That's why they are known as herbivores. So simply we can define herbivores. Those animals or organisms which eat plant are known as herbivores. Note down then we will see next one. Next organism we will see that is carnivores. This carnivores is flesh eating animals or organisms. This carnivorous word is derived from the Latin word that is carn and words. This carn means flesh and word means eat. Means those organisms or species which eat flesh are known as carnivorous. For example, tiger, fox, hyenas, this all are known as carnivorous. Now this carnivorous can also be divided into two parts. First one is scavengers. And second one, insectivorous. Scavengers. Its examples are fox and hyenas. What these scavengers are doing, whatever thing or whatever flesh is left, they are eating the dead flesh. They are not eating fresh flesh. They are eating the flesh which is left after eating by the lion or tiger. They are eating that one. Scavengers means the waste, the useful waste eaten by the animals. So that is scavengers animals. Insectivorous, those species which are eating insects. Its examples are frog. This frog is eating insects. That's why this is not known as Carnivorous, this we will call insectivorous because it is eating only small insects. So in today's video only this much, I hope you understood the topic.